Russell Clegg with Keysight Technologies and I'm an Applications Engineer for the Solutions Group. What I'd like to talk to you about today is our PD-1000A Power Device Measurement System for Advanced Modeling. We have several videos out there already that talk about the different test equipment and the control software. What I'd like to talk about today is actually the Power Electronics Model Generation software over here. If you look at our other vid videos, you'll see that we've already gathered data and stored it to a directory. So now that we have that data all stored on our computer, we can go over to this software and import it, run the modeling tool, and then generate a model that can be exported to Keysight circuit simulation software. So let's jump to the software and I'll explain what's going on. So I'm going to open the tab for the po Power Electronics Modeling Suite and open up an example that I've already created to demonstrate how this software works. So there's the project that I was working on. I can put any comments I'd like to in the comment field here, but we'll jump right to let's import the measurement data. So I point to the folder where the data has been stored and you'll see that there's actually several folders for the different ambient temperatures that we measure the device under. So you'll see the 27 degree temperature, the 75 degree C temperature, and the 125 degree C temperature. So we don't want to go into those folders because that would only import that data. So we want to import all this data at once so we select the folder that they're all in and go ahead and hit select folder. OK. And you can see that it's importing that data right now and you see all the statuses are now green and it's done so we can close that window and move right to the extraction tab. At this point I can go ahead and hit extract and you'll see this begin to start processing the data and you'll see some graphs come up over here. What that's doing at this point is importing all the data that was gathered with our different measurement systems and analyzing it and trying to fit it to curves that we've defined already that best simulate wideband gap devices for modeling when we go into our circuit simulation software. So you can see there's a tremendous amount of data being imported here. So you see all the individual squares are the real data gathered and then the solid lines are the actual extraction curves that are being calculated. Those will later be used to generate the model. Okay, so we've allowed the software to finish running the rest of the extraction, which took several minutes. So at this point, all the fields are green, meaning that they're done. So we can close this window, and we're ready to go to the Verify screen. Click here, go to Verify, and what this does is it looks at how well the curves were fit to the data and gives you the result here in a column. It says result versus what the goal was. So for the first one, you'll see it's 3.01% versus a goal of 5%. So pretty much down the line, we've met the requirements of how accurately the curve was fit to the data. So we'll let that finish, and you can see everything's done. So now the verification's complete. If anything was not up to your liking, you could go back and use some of these sliders to tweak the data, see if you can get a better fit. But at this point, we're happy with what we have. We'll close this screen and go to the export screen. At this point, you can select to save the data either under the project's results directory or to find your own path here. Click the export button and you're done. The file is ready to be imported now by our Keysight circuit simulation software. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.